Hey everyone, welcome to episode one of Why I Kept It. Today, we're going to be talking about Zuaretto. How could you say no to that face? Look at that face. Now, Zuaretto is a light European strategy game. You can see here it came out in 2007, and right there, that's a big reason for why I kept it. That symbol right there. I'm a sucker for the Spiel des Jahr. For those who don't know, Spiel des Jahr is the German Strategy Game of the Year award. Now, I know it's not the be-all, end-all arbiter of quality, but odds are if a game has got that symbol on the box, and you're making a tough decision here, which game am I going to trade, which game am I going to sell, you keep the one with the little red pommel on it. It's a pretty easy thing to help you make your decisions. But that's not the only reason why I kept Zuloretto. This game is my go-to gateway game. There's a lot of big suggestions out there as to what you should bring to the table when you've got a group of people who are ready to go on from the simple card game to a real board game. Now, Zuloretto, I feel, is the best one. Not with two players. It's awful with two players. Do not try it. But if you've got three or four, you could definitely do a lot worse in Zuloretto. To give you the gist of this game, you know, you've got a, a farm zoo type map grid, and it gives you a great opportunity for one of my favorite mechanisms in a game. It's when you're going around the table, everyone's looking at you when it comes to your turn, and you're not sure what you're going to do, and they don't know either. And you get to say, I'm going to the bag. You reach in, a little bit of push your luck here, say, which animal am I going to pull out? And you get a zebra, an adorable, adorable zebra. And odds are, you made a very strategic decision. Now you can fit him into your zoo on your map, score a whole bunch of points. If not, you put him in the barn of unloved animals where he can go for negative two points and drag you down and make you question your life choices. But there's a couple other reasons why I really like Zuloretto. Uh, one, I don't like expansions. I'm very skeptical that expansions are necessary. But when you've played a gateway game a million times, you might actually be ready to expand the game. Zuloretto has a bunch. It's got a whole bunch of uh, mid-sized expansions like Zuloretto the Boss. There's one that does exotic animals. But it's also got numerous, numerous mini expansions. And they're all generally about one tile. Like right here we've got Zuloretto the Skunk, which I haven't even had a chance to punch out yet. These all add one animal for the game. And you put it in, there's one little rule twist, and then you keep moving on with your game. So, it gives you a bit of a little different flavor. The other fun thing I like to show when I break out Zuloretto is how games tend to be multilingual, just to make them easier to sell across different audiences. So you've got your typical rule reference, but with the eternal love of the German language, where multiple words tend to get smushed together, expanding zoo becomes Zusatzgehege. So let that be your trivia moment for the day. Go pick up a copy of Zuloretto. Use it to expand the love of our great hobby. And click subscribe. And watch the next video. And come find me on Twitter, at MattMorganMDP. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you're looking forward to next episode. See you then. Bye.